a gunman mugs a woman before asking her out on Facebook. You was too pretty to rob. So I stumbled upon this news article and I thought it would be pretty funny to check out. <laughs> so a creep allegedly robbed an Indianapolis woman at gunpoint and forced her to befriend him on Facebook where he later messaged her and asked her to come chill. I think this is the potentially wrong approach to like the whole Netflix and chill type of situation, you know, like you forcing a girl to befriend you on Facebook with all of your public information connected to that, you know, that might be like a a bad idea, you know. Amber Brown said she was getting her mail one night in May when a man, later identified as Damien Boyce, approached her and pulled out a gun, WRTV reported. Now, this is such a, like, a crazy thing, and also a very scary thing. Like, I hope she's okay after all this. Like, this type of individual that does something like this needs to probably be in jail for a very long time. Because what is to stop him from doing something very heinous because he could have done that. So Baron says she refused to let Boyce into her home after he demanded her to and instead handed over all her cash, which was about a hundred dollars. But the money was not enough for Boyce, who then allegedly asked if she had a boyfriend and demanded she connect with him on Facebook. And by the way, I think the guy who like did this whole like robbery mugging thing is a complete and utter moron like a complete and utter moron one you're going to just randomly mug someone in broad daylight that's pretty dumb two committing a crime that's pretty dumb three doing all this for a hundred bucks that's pretty dumb four demanding your victim befriend you on your facebook profile your facebook profile is the dumbest thing I've seen a criminal do. I thought if maybe I added him on Facebook, he would leave, and he did, Baron told the local LA. So I guess she, she for, uh, he forced him, uh, her to like add him right then and there. After the robbery, Baron said she immediately got messages from Boyce with the gunman hitting on his victim. Damn, he was too pretty to rob Boyce allegedly wrote with another message claiming that he would pay her back. Look, just know I'm going to pay you back. It's a effed up way to meet, I'm guessing. But, damn, you was too pretty to rob. The guy can't even spell was right. I believe you, man. I can tell you're sweet. Times just get rough. I know that is her response. However, her reply may have emboldened the gunman who continued to message her, even asking her to come chill. Baron said the entire encounter has left her shaken and even paranoid of her quaint Indianapolis neighborhood. It makes me a little on edge knowing that people walk up and down the street looking for places to commit crimes, she said. It makes it a little different when you hear noises at night. Yeah, if I was her, I'd probably move. I mean, straight up. This is kind of like a really sketchy thing to happen. <laughs> so Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department said Boyce was arrested and charged in a separate armed robbery on June 12th, in which he allegedly shot two people and hit another in the head with a brick. Police said the incident occurred after an argument broke out between Boyce and the victims, and the gunman then allegedly barricaded himself before a SWAT team was deployed. Boyce quickly surrendered himself to police and was charged with burglary, unlawful possession of a weapon, criminal recklessness, and battery. He was also charged in the gunpoint robbery of Baron last Wednesday and was being held on a 7500 bond. How is he only being held on a 7500 bond after this whole fiasco and the other fiasco? Like, what? <laughs> oh, man, this is so bad. What this girl needs to do, honestly, is to just leave. 
Like, maybe even leave the state, because this is so beyond retarded. <sighs> Lord. She robbed me of my heart. She's definitely pretty. <laughs> Get a job, moron. A union plumber can make more in a day than you can steal. That's probably true. And they want us to think they're not idiots. Burglary, unlawful possession of a weapon, criminal recklessness and battery, plus he shot two people and hit another with a brick. Then he was also charged in the gunpoint robbery of a Baron, of Baron the girl. All that and only 7,500 bond. Yeah, to me, that's crazy. Like, this should be like a multiple six-figure bond. Like, what the hell? I mean, it's somewhat on the low side, but you're acting like he's the type that can put together almost 10k. The thing is, like, the criminal justice system doesn't care how much money you can keep, like, you know, bring up. They're basically going to just try to, like, raise the price to the extent where they're, like, they know that you pretty much can't, or it just doesn't even almost make any sense for them to try to pay it. A modern love story. A true gentleman. Two pillars of the community right there. Chivalry is not dead, it just needs to be tweaked a little bit. Interesting. Dude needs a Robin Eye Clinic. Yeah, like, to me, this is just kind of, like, crazy, because... This is basically a moron who commits a crime to try to get easy money but like, can't even do that right. Like, how bad do you have to be at life to screw up this badly? Like, this is this is pretty bad. <laughs> like, because he just did it all to himself, basically. I mean, obviously he did stuff to those victims as well, but it's like, dude. <laughs> you made her add your Facebook profile that has every single bit of information about you on it. Like, <laughs> and you're a criminal. Committing criminal acts. Does that make sense? Like, at all. <laughs> 